Okay, let's go to page 233. Start with number 1. You have negative 2a times 4a squared. So when you're doing a multiplication, you first you do the sign. So negative times positive is negative. When you go to number 2 times 4 is 8. Now sometimes you can do the sign and number together at the same time. So negative 2 times 4 will give you negative 8. Then after you go down the alphabet, so a times a squared will give you a to the 3. Okay, number three, okay, you have five x squared times negative seven y. Okay, so positive times negative is negative, so do the sign, then the number five times seven is 35. And you do the alphabet, so you got x squared, and you do the y. Okay. okay, number five, you have four x squared to the three power. Okay. Okay, so the, the cube is for the parentheses. So anything in the parentheses, you have to raise to the cube. So 4 to the 3 power means 4 times 4 times 4 will give you 64. And this one, so, so x squared to the 3 power would be, you have to use a power rule. So multiplies would be x to the 6. Okay, number 7. Negative 5x to the 3, 2x squared, negative 3 to the x. Okay, so first take care of the sign. So two, so there are two negatives, so give you positive. So you don't have to write anything. Then the number, okay, 5 times 2 is 10 times 3 would be 30. So again, sign, number, then alphabet. So you got x to the, so 3 plus 2 is 5 plus 1. Again, when you don't see the number is 1, so it'd be 6. Okay, number 9, <clears throat> you have 2mn squared times negative 4m squared n squared times 2m to the 3n. Okay, so you can first take care of the sign. So positive, negative, positive will give you negative. All right, again, our number of negative will give you negative. Then the number 2 times 4 is 8 times 2 is 16. And then you go down the alphabet, so you got m to the 1, to the 2, to the 3, so it be m to the 6, right? 1 plus 2 is 3, plus 3 give you 6. Then the n, 2 plus 2 is 4, plus 1 is 5. Okay, 11. <clears throat> you have negative 5x squared y times 2yz to the 3 times negative x z. Okay, so there are, there are even number of negatives, so be positive, so you don't have to write anything. Then the number 5 times 2 times 1 will give you 10. Then you go down the alphabet, so you got x to the 2, x to the 1, so it be x to the 3. Then you go down to the y, so you got y, and the y would be y squared. Then you go down to the z, so you can sign number, then you go down the alphabet. So you got z to the 3 and z to the 1, so it be z to the 4. <clears throat> okay, number 13. Okay, you have 5 times a plus 6. So the, this one you have to use a distributive property. So just distribute. So it becomes 5a and plus 30. Okay. Now this one had uh, multiple terms, so you can just divide. You don't have to box it. Okay, when you have a single like numbers or term, you can just box. But when you have a lot of stuff, just leave it. Okay, fifteen. You have three times m minus four. So again, you distribute. So it'd be three m distribute minus twelve. <clears throat> okay, seventeen. You have negative two times x minus three. So again, we need to distribute. This would be minus 2x. Distribute. So negative 2 times negative 2 will give you plus 6. Okay. okay. Number 19. You have negative 3 times 2x squared minus 4x plus 5. 
So you can use distribute, so be equal to negative 6x squared, distribute. So negative and negative is positive, 3 times 4 is 12, and the alphabet is x. Okay, then you go to the next one. Negative 3 times positive 5 is negative 15, okay, and that's it. So 21, okay, you have 4x times 3x squared minus 6. So you can distribute. So 4 times 3 is 12. x times x squared will be x to the 3. Okay. And after that, you multiply, so it will be minus 24x. Okay. Okay, 23. Got negative 2x times 5x squared plus 3x plus uh, minus 4. Okay. Okay. So again, let's go and distribute. So this will equal to negative 10 x to the 3. I right, just sign number alphabet. And multiply will be minus 6x squared. Multiply will be plus 8x. Okay, let's go to the next one. We got negative 1 times x squared minus y squared. So you can distribute, so be negative equal to negative x squared, distribute be plus y squared. Okay, 27, you have negative x plus 3. So you can distribute. So negative times x is negative x. Negative times plus 3 would be minus 3. Okay, 29. You have negative times 2x squared plus 4x minus 7. So you can distribute, so be minus 2x squared, distribute minus 4x, distribute plus 7. Okay, okay 31. Okay, you got x minus 4 times 6. So this is kind of the backward distribution. But you're just going to do exactly the same thing. So you distribute. So it'd be x times 6 would be equal to 6x. And then after that, you go to the next one. So it would be minus 24. Okay. okay, so you got y squared minus 4y plus 3 times 7. So again, you go and distribute. So it'd be equal to 7y squared. So after you're done with the first term, you go to the next term. So minus 28y, and next one plus 21. Okay, next one. You have 2x squared minus 3x plus 5 times, okay, uh, I'm going to put in parentheses. It looks kind of weird without the parentheses. Okay, so that's going to distribute. So this will give me... 8x to the 3. The next one would be minus 12x squared. Again, when you multiply, you just do the sign, the number, then the alphabet. Next one plus 20x. Okay, because sign is positive, 5 times 4 is 20, and alphabet is x. Okay, okay let's go to the next one. Thirty-seven. Okay, we have x, x y minus three. So again, we need distribute. So sign positive number one times one is one. Alphabet, you're gonna get x squared y. Okay, then go to the next one. Again, sign is negative. Number is three. Alphabet is x. Okay, next one you have three a. times a b minus 2a squared. So distribute, I can just go sign number alphabet. Okay, so sign is positive, number is three, alphabet, the a 
is square and b, right? A times a give you a square. Okay, next one, again, positive times negative is negative, 3 times 2 is 6, a times a squared will be a cubed. Okay, 41, we have negative 2x plus 4x squared y times negative 3y, so can you distribute? So uh, minus times minus is plus, 2 times 6, 2 times 3 equal to 6, x times y would be xy, again alphabet, right? So multiply, positive times negative is negative, so it's negative. Plus times minus is negative, uh, minus, 4 times 3 is 12, x, and then I'll just go down the alphabet, so you got x squared, y, and y would be y squared. Okay, 43, got negative 2xy times x squared y minus y squared x minus y minus 5. Okay, so let's just going to distribute. So sign is negative, number is 2. Alphabet, you're going to get x to the 3 and the y squared. Okay, so you can just, you know, just go down the alphabet. Then you're going to go to the next one. So this will give me positive, so sign is positive, the number would be 2. Alphabet, I'm going to have an x squared and the y cubed. Okay? And the next one, so sign would be plus, alphabet would, um, the number would be 2, alphabet would be x, y squared, right? So x and then got y squared. Next one would be, uh, sign would be plus, number would be 10, and alphabet would be x, y. Okay, next one, we got 3x to the 3 minus 2x squared y plus y to the 3 times uh, minus 2xy. Okay, so this is very similar to that, it's just kind of reversed. Okay, so distribute. So the sign is going to be negative, number would be 6. Alphabet would be, this would be x to the 4, and the y would be just y. Okay, and then next one. So this one, the sign would be plus, right? Negative and negative is plus. 2 times 2 is 4. And the alphabet, this would give me x to the 3, right? x to the 2 and x would be x to the 3, and it would be y squared. Okay, and after that you go to the next one. So the sign would be negative, the number would be 2, the alphabet, that's only x and the, this will give me y to the 4 okay, and that's it okay you got 4ab square times 3a to the 4 b to the 2 minus 2ab minus 5b. Okay, so again, let's go and distribute. So, sign is positive, number would be 12. Alphabet, this would be a to the 5. Right? a to the 1 times a to the 4 is a to the 5, and this would be b to the 4. Okay, then you go to the next term. So, sign, positive and negative would give me negative. Number 4 times 2 would be 8. Then alphabet, a and a would be a squared. And b and b b square and b would be b to the three. Okay, then you go to the next one. Okay, so positive and negative. Positive and negative would be negative. Number four and four times five would be twenty. Alphabet you got a, and the b square and b would be b to the three. Okay. Okay, forty nine. You have negative 2xy squared z squared times 6x squared y minus 3yz minus 4xz squared. Okay, so again, let's go and distribute. So negative and positive is negative. 2 times 6 would be 12. Alphabet, you got x and x squared, so it'd be x to the 3. Then y squared and the y y squared times y would be y to the 3, and then z squared so would be z squared. Okay, then you go to the next term. Negative and negative would be positive. 
2 times 3 would be 6. Then you go down the alphabet, so you got x. There's no x, so it would be just x. Then you go next one. So y squared times y would be y to the 3. Then you're going to have z squared and times z would be z to the 3. Okay. Then you go to the next term. Negative times negative would be positive. 2 times 4 would be 8. You got x times x would be x squared. You got y squared, there's no that's nothing over here, so it'd be y squared. You got z squared and a z squared would be z to the four.